Hello everybody and welcome back to me and Lydia in Skyrim. As you can see we are still over here in Harmbugstall. So what we're going to be doing is heading over to the Rebels camp. We have also got a quest back over here to hand in for the bounty. But we're going to pop over here to Rebels camp. And then hopefully we're going to get over to a town and then catch a carriage. Don't think we'll fast travel over there yet. We might even just fast travel back over here after we've been to Rebels Camp. <coughs> Excuse me, got a cold coming. Itchy throat, so let's get on with it. Come on now, Lydia. We need to make a move. Okie dokie. Just to let you all know, the patch update to fix the crashes has not yet happened in this episode. So, as I'm just going to pop over here and have a look over here first. So, as of now, I'm still playing on the supposed crushing version of the game. Oh, hello. Interesting, we'll take that book. But if you've seen my other video, which you would have done a while back, about a possible fix, or possible fix, it doesn't mean it will fix, it just might be I am so lucky that I am not experiencing any form of crashes. And that would be to save your game in a new, brand new save file after patch. I think yeah. we're being attacked by another dragon already. Please, no, bugger off, please. Please go. Thank you. We'll worry about you another time. We need to head back, sorry, wrong one. We need to head back over to the Rebel Cairn. We should probably fast travel to Bleakwind to save this mountain regions traveling. So we'll do that. Oh yeah, Mr. Skeeve. Look at you. So if I experience a crash, then that video I posted a while back was a load of twaddle and we are still waiting for the patch to fix. Like I said, I've had about 10 hours gameplay of non-crashing, so at this moment in time, to me, that is fantastic. So we need to turn around and head towards that location. Excuse me while I get a quick drink. Jesus, Lydia, you're in a hurry. And a cough. <coughs> I may even stretch over and get some chocolate to make my cough even worse. Okay, let's head over to the Rebels Can. <coughs> Right, let's get up here. We have a fire. We have like a Hey, look, a cave. Yes, a cave. What's inside? Shall we go and find out, Lydia? That might be an interesting thing to do. Let's go. The rebels can. As you can see, Lydia's really excited about getting in here, so we won't keep her waiting. Let's get down. Looks like it could be Fawn Sworn. Oh, we have a pedestal in the middle. She's really getting in there now, look. 
video. Ow. Yes, get in now. You want to go in there first? Get in now. Stop stopping me. Let's have a look. We've got a poor dead adventurer who take his gold. The legend of the Red Eagle. We'll take that. We may already have a copy. Right, let's have a look at this pedestal. Can I get up there? Come on, don't jump work. Activate the weapon slot. Red Eagle's Fury goes in. Right. You're carrying too much to run. Because I picked up a book. Really? What can I drop? Arrows don't weigh nothing. The glass warheads. Is that a two-hander? Lydia. Still here. Yes, okay. I am Can you take to carry your burdens? You're gonna be carrying this burden. Can you take this for me? Without wearing it. Or wear it, up to you. No, I didn't want to do that, did I? I want to put that back on and then give you that. Cool. Lead on. Oh, it's a one-hander. That's even better. Right, let's put that in there. And let's go and venture in and see what's inside. Wow, this looks interesting. I'm liking that. I've got a feeling we're going to have a Draga shouty person in here. Right. Lydia. There's a big sarcophagi over there. I do believe Mr. Shouty is going to come out of there. There he is. Red Eagle himself. Get in there, Lydia. No. Oh, Jesus. That was evil. Let's go back in here, Lydia, and try that again. And we will give you, right before we start, you. this lovely axe of mine. I am sworn to carry, carry your, your burdens. burdens. We know. Don't need to go on moaning about it. Because you're going to love this. There we go. You lead, See, I'll 
You love it so much. Right. Let's have a look at magic. We yep. Have we got any other shouts we can use? What's that? Ooh. <coughs> Might need that against this sod. That's no good. So shall we try Elemental Fury? Uh, unlock. Favorite. And equip. Let's have a look. Ah, your weapon is already enchanted. Okay, so it's going to be an enchanted weapon. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I have. Just go to Lydia, an enchanted weapon. Yee. Never mind, we will go back to that one. Come on out of here. Let's get down here and let's see if we can sort this bugger out this time. Do I have to? We will run away. We've done it, Lydia. We've done it. I appreciate you taking one for the team now. <laughs> Let's search the Skeletoni. We can take those more with arrows. Wow. That I will not be able to carry, or will I? Yes, just a belt. <clears throat> Come on now, Lydia. Let's have a look and see what they've got around here. Anything interesting to pick up? Anything interesting to look at? We have his lovely ginormous sword now. We have plentiful healing, coin purse, that's cool. Another big massive coin purse down here. We've had some of those lovely soul gems. Search to earn, we'll have the gold out of there too. Don't need none of these things. Orcish greatsword, two hand up, don't need. Iron Shield, Iron Mace, 
and a massive chest. Goldie, there's a ruby. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are 360 in weight and we have 360 available weight. Ring of the Squire, light armor. Don't know if I've got a ring on, so that might be worth looking at. We are now too heavy and that we've already got. So, items, apparel. Any rings I'm wearing? No, is it just a necklace up there that I'm wearing? <coughs> there we are. So I can wear a ring. Ring of the Squire. What can I drop? Staff of Courage, Woodcutter's Axe. Shall we drop the Staff of Courage? Where well, we've got any apparel we can get rid of. Don't want that enchantment. Oh, yes, here we go. That can drop that dodgy thing. And looks like just that. That's good enough. I looted that of some unfortunate soul. Okay. Where to go now, Lydia? Do you know? Or is it just the same way we came in? See, that weren't that very far. Hang on a minute. Then we need to sort our, out our inventory. Our bag is overwhelming with items. It's a bit dark over there, so let's go. Lydia, this way. I'm probably got, not going to have enough to pick up this sword afterwards. It's too much. Any other things I can get rid of now? Weapons, let's get rid of this. Staff of Courage. You're joking. Oof. Anything in here we can get rid of? Bookage. Let's drop them. Let's use. We can use that. that. That takes it down to one. Okay, miscellaneous. Loads of shit in here. A roll of paper. There we go. We can now move. Let's exit this place. The rebels can. What a beast. So Lydia, we are going to have to fast travel back to home because home is such a distance away. That's Riverwood, so home will be there. No, we won't. 
Dip, 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 dip. Right. We're going to do it. We're going to fast travel to here and then we're going to sell some stuff here. And then what we'll do is probably end the episode there. We need shops now. <clears throat> Maybe I should have started off with down here, Lydia. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone uh, enter or leave? No. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. Do you need any help? I'm actually just about to head on inside. It'd be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Oh, dangerous. You know what you'll find. The House of Horrors. Okay, let's do the House of Horrors. We was going to sell some stuff, but here we go. I'm pretty sure Lydia will be able to carry some more stuff. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. Yes. But the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. This is really nice and clean. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we're getting to the bottom of this. Come out. I know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. Okay. Slightly scary now. Requires a key. Okay, we need a key. You first. Come on. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Now. No. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Get out of my head, Daedra. You will kill. You will kill or you will die. Okay. Lydia, I don't have the room to carry all this stuff. Well, I did see what looks like a coin purse. We'll have the hat. Is this door open now? 
Let's enter with yes. you. Come on. You've got my back. Into the bowels. Nothing over here. Ooh, there's a big hole in the floor. Come on, Lydia. We're going so down. So close. Your prize is waiting. Is it now? My prize may be an arrow into your head, dangerous gum. What's all this about? Take the rusty mace. Looks like a Daedric mace. Let's use the altar. Fool. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? Probably not. What do you see from that little cage? Speak. I only see spikes of this trap. Sharp, aren't they? This was the last thing many saw before they were sacrificed in my name. Oh, lovely. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate it. So long since it's tasted blood, until you came. Oh. Well, I never wanted to help you, so let me go. Fine. I offered you a reward. You'll get the freedom your kind enjoys so much. But Boethia's priest is imprisoned as well. But not by me. He is hurt, suffering. Save him. Let him perform his rites one more time. And when he does, I will be waiting for him. Now we can't take the mace. Can we use the auto again? No. Okay, Lydia. We refuse Daedric. Or Derek, as he's now known. Let's escape this place. Not much in here. much in here at all. So, Lydia, let's go. Let's leave this Daedric scum behind. Well, we've got two things we can do here. Outsiders. Yes. Back to you too. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. <coughs> Let's do what we came over here for in the first place. Collect our reward and sell some stuff. I don't think this What are you is. hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical imperial lies. First, you take away oh. Talos. 
Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. Okay. This place looks like it's going to need some Damn investigating. Think they can kill people in my city? I'll have man in our tent. Talk about the silver blood family. Here to see the you. Jarl. Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markar? Uh, I'm a traveler. Well. I have questions. You may approach the mournful throne. But Jeez. The silver blood family are left alone. Am I clear? Yes, yes my Jarl. I'm Igman's uncle as well as his steward. Okay. How is the reach faring against this false one menace? I advise the same way I advised his father. Caution, caution, caution. Out of the reach for good. The safety of the city and yes. a great service. Thank you. Here is your reward. Cool. All right then. 500 gold. Cowards, both of you. My father would not sit idly back and wait while evil men take over his land. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're done discussing this for now. Madanak has been found to be the true murderer of Markarth. On behalf of the city, I apologize for your wrongful imprisonment. Are you a Thank cell you. sword? I don't like your kind. No honor, no loyalty, unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's no. see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. Okay, it will we be will done, see. my lord. Dragons have returned to Skyrim, my lord. Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into, even from the skies. And everything is made of stone, even the beds. We'll have no trouble from Dragon's Fire here. Has the war been hard on Markov? It all started here, this rebellion. When the Empire Ooh. lost the reach during the Great War, we became desperate. We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the hold. Then the elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks and where this war really started. Wow. Why did you arrest, uh, why did you arrest the Nord militia? The White Gold Concordant, our treaty with the Elves after the Great War, forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the Elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. The choice was clear, and now Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. Don't you think it's wrong that you can't allow, you're not allowed to, uh, you know, worship or pray to your own god? That's pretty bad. When the Old Mary Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the Reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising, but the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They mm -hmm. fled into the hills and became the Forsworn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. I do not want to purchase a home in your city, but thank you for no letting me know. I for those Forsworn. Understand? Yes, okay. I will sort them. Jeez. Arnold. Right. Right, okay. 
we are here ladies and gentlemen we're going to end the episode here me and Lydia Lydia hello we are going to end the episode here and we will come back again and looks like we'll be selling some stuff off camera before we start our forsworn the Dominion murdering and we're watching you I'm talking and we will murder these forsworn in the next episode so until then thank you for watching take care happy slapping and see you soon